In this little video, we're going to show you how easy it is to use your e, the e-sticker. But first, before we jump into that, we need to take a quick look at what your environment looks like before we start, because there are different views for different people. If you're using the what we call the new Adobe Acrobat layout, which was introduced in late 2024, your view is going to look like this. We're going to walk through how you uh, apply the exhibit sticker using this view first. Now, when we zoom out, you can see that um, there's a menu button up the, at the top with the three little bars. Your tools are located right below that, and that's important because that's how we're going to access our exhibit sticker properties. And as we zoom out, here's what it looks like with the document right in the middle and kind of what the layout of that new quote quote Adobe Acrobat layout looks like. Now, a lot of us that have been using uh, Adobe Acrobat for a very long time will see this view on the right hand side. That was introduced in 2020, 2015, uh, up until this latest version was released. Many people prefer this view. You see the, the uh, Tools tab is located in the lower menu bar. Um, it just says Tools. And then you also have a, a little right-hand bar that gives you quick access to Tools. We have another video that will show you how to switch between these two views if you'd like to get back to the one that you're used to. But zooming out, here's what kind of the old familiar layout looks like. So that's important again because we're going to be walking through how to apply the exhibit sticker using both of these different layouts so that it's not confusing. And uh, don't worry, if you don't have the first layout, you can zoom through the video and start watching, picking it up about halfway through to see it in the older layout. Let's go ahead and jump in and get started. Now the very first thing you need to do is identify what it is you want your exhibit sticker to look like. What color does it need to be? Is it white, blue, yellow? Uh, we need to set that property. Does, what does the title need to say? Is it a deposition exhibit? Is it a trial exhibit? Do you need to use numbers or letters in your exhibit stickering? We need to select which one you're going to use. And depending upon the version that you, you purchased or intend to purchase, you have different options for headers and footers and sometimes no header or footer at all. And those are all set in the exhibit sticker properties dialog box. It's super simple to use and here's how we access that dialog box. First we access the all tools and scroll down to view more then keep scrolling down until you see the add-on tools. That, once you select that, that's going to bring up another dialog box that's going to activate the properties dialog. And they look like a little Lego piece if you look at the little icon on there. So we select on the e-sticker properties and it brings up the properties box. Here we're typing in a title. We're going to add a footer because this is a style 4 exhibit sticker which allows you to have a footer. Um, we're going to choose blue as our color here. We're going to add a prefix that goes before our number, so we'll just do EX for exhibit and then a dash. And then we select a starting number. We're going to select 001 as our starting number. And then it's going to increment automatically from there. So once we do that, we go to step two, which is placing our exhibit sticker. And to do that, we close out the little toolbar for the sub toolbar and we go down to add a stamp. We select the stamp and then we select the exhibit sticker stamp that we had just created. As you can see here, we have a blue sticker that uh, starts with exhibit one and each time we place the sticker, it auto increments into uh, the next number in line. Now, obviously you wouldn't be e-stickering the same stamp on the first page of a single document. You would be opening up other documents and then applying the sticker. The, well, remember you're auto-incrementing even after you get out of Acrobat and go back into it, maybe a day later, a week later, a month later, it's going to pick up the next exhibit number that you're going to need to use. But what if you need letters and not numbers? We'll go back to your properties box and just select the starting letter. Here we're going to select the starting letters A and then you'll see as we place the stamp it's going to auto uh, letter in order and again that property will stay. Let's try something else. We're going to go in here and select the properties box and go ahead and choose manual entry. This gives you maximum flexibility if you just need to place one sticker um, that maybe has some special characters in it. You don't need to auto increment. It's just like a very quick one-off. You just type in whatever you want because the properties box will pop up. Here we typed in one and then two and then we place it and move on our way. And then finally, one of the most powerful tools we have is if your file name are, is your exhibit name, you can have it pick up that, that exhibit uh, sticker 
by the actual file name. So here we we have exhibit 2 as our file name. Now we have exhibit 3 as our file name. And it simply is going through and adopting uh, that file name to our exhibit sticker itself. It's a very quick way to go ahead and uh, exhibit label uh, documents that have already been pre-named. If the last video looked nothing like your version of Acrobat, you're probably using the previous Acrobat layout, which we've been using for over a decade now. It has the tools on the left-hand menu, and there's some little icons on the right-hand side. That's how you can differentiate between the two. But the first thing we need to do, as with the other version, is to set your sticker properties. So go to Tools, and that will bring up a, a panel with a bunch of icons. Scroll to the very bottom and look for the one that looks like a Lego. Um, that's the add-on tools. That'll bring up a properties dialog box once you click on it. So we're just going to select a green sticker here and then go in and change the um, starting number back to something else and then we're going to go ahead and show you how we place it. Click OK. Now we have to actually activate the stamp itself. So you're, that's how you're going to place your sticker. So you'll go to the icon that looks like a little stamp, actually, and that's easily accessible on the right hand side. It brings up a dialog box that will let you choose your exhibit sticker, and that you have just set the properties on. So we have a green sticker, and then we're going to place it. Now we do have an, a, a special shortcut that if you select the K key, it will let you place these stickers one right after the other. So be sure and watch that video if you get a chance. Here I'm going in and changing the properties to show something uh, at lettering instead of numbering. So we've set that up. We're going to change the color here so you can see that. And then click OK and go over to get our stamp and place it. And there you go. You can see how we now have uh, letters instead of numbers. Let's check the uh, change the properties one more time to the manual feature. Once you select on the manual feature, we'll change the color again so you can see it. Um, that will pop up a dialog box that will let you type in anything you want here. It's great for one-off stickers if you just need to put one sticker on one document or you have some unusual characters. And then finally, what we're going to show you here is um, one of the our favorite features is the file name feature. And that is if your documents are already named uh, by their exhibit number then you can use the file name uh, and the, the sticker will just adopt the file name as the stamp name. So you can see we have the pink sticker with Exhibit 1. If you'd like to switch between the new and the previous version of Adobe Acrobat, it's very, very simple to do. What you need to do is just go into your settings and switch from one to the other. So here we're looking at the previous version of Adobe Acrobat. You just select View and then when you click on that you just pull down to enable new Acrobat and then it will ask you to restart your machine and vice versa for the new version if you're going to switch back to the old version go to the menu tab and then just pull all the way down to disable new Acrobat and then that will go ahead and uh, ask you to restart and it'll get you back to the previous version that you used to use